Damneris. We're going to start with her bath. So, you know, she'll be up and in her light. She's the first one up. She will be chilling out up there. And her bathtub is right here in this cabinet under her cage. We just pull it out. And we bring it over to sink and fill this up with regular water. It doesn't have to be filtered. And if you want it lukewarm for her. She has a little rock here that you'll find on the counter. Water about, you know, maybe a quarter of the way up, just so it basically covers her back. Okay, time for your bath. Let's go, young lady. Just put your hands under her front feet like this. Take her out like this. You know, if I have a robe or something on, I'll put her on my shoulder for a bit. And then we'll bring her right over. And you gently, so you get her tail in there. So, stop doing the water. Okay, baby, good girl. Okay. And you just let her put herself on the rock. Just splash the water around a little. She's got some loose skin or something, you could just kind of like pet her and pet it off. Or if there's food, sometimes she gets a little bit of food, vegetable stuff on her mouth. See, she got a little piece of skin here, so I will just rub it and see if it'll come off. Otherwise, it'll come off on its own, but good girl. And she will just stay in here once she calms down. She'll just chill out in there until she's ready and you'll know she'll do her business in there and then she'll want out so you see you'll see her puffing up she's taking water in sometimes she'll stick her face in a little bit as she is now just getting the jet off of her skin This, so you see, so she wants out, and you'll see it floating in there. The white is the urine, and then the rest is her poop, and that's all. And she does not like to be in it, so not happy that I left her. And just make sure she's clean. Wipe her off if she needs to be wiped off. Yep. Okay. And she'll wanna. You know, she can hang out on your shoulder for a little bit if you want her or something, but she'll want to get back into the heat of the sunlight. So we'll just put her back in there. She'll eventually jump down to eat. And that's it. Her lights are kept good every now and then. Just make sure her water is, you know, you can empty it out and fill it up. Uh, this doesn't have to be filtered water for her because she absorbs it from her skin. She doesn't drink it. So you just keep make sure there's water in there. And then and we make sure we latch this little latch because she'll push the door open and jump out. And you can get her veggies ready while she's in the bath. So and or bugs. So depending on the day, we'll give her veggies certain days, it'll be on the list. And then other days we'll give her bugs or both. So, um, and she can have some of these treats. She seems to only eat the little green ones. So there's a little treat thing in here. Down here where the bugs are. So the lower level of her cage. And she has some of these, which she can have a couple of times a week. Just what I will do is give her a little bit of, so she can have, um, a little bit of romaine chopped up, never spinach for her, um, only romaine or I'm going to show you the leaves from the mulberry tree that she can have, um, or a 
arugula. I don't give her iceberg either. She can have, it says blueberries. She can have some blueberries. She likes them. And we just chop up a little bit. So I'll have the salad mix in here for her. And you can just put a little bit of that in there. That, like I said, she can have a little blueberry if, we, if you have blueberries in the fridge. And then this plant, too, you just take a leaf, pull the stem off, and rip it up. And this plant will be in the sunroom. So it's this under her thing, and she'll climb down and eat it when she's hungry. Um, so they had some stuff in there, so it's like fine. So then I will put them in her white dish and let them get covered with that vitamin mix. Sometimes I'll move them around. I'm going to show you. I'm going to feed her a couple today. And we're going to let her have... Usually when I do the worms, I'll give her... Depending on the size, these are pretty big. Like maybe five. She will... She'll eat ten if you give it to her. Or more. She, she can keep eating and you'll see she gets really fat. So we don't give her all that she wants. We give her a set amount. Okay. And then you can either just put them in the dish and leave them there and she'll come down and eat them. Or you could take them if you feel like it and go like this and put it in front of her and she will eat it. If she does it, eat it then she's in a mood or nervous. um she does have her if you want if you're here watching tv or something and you want to give her a little time out behind the bar is her little hammock she likes to look out the window she can go on the hammock here and i will have a basket actually i'm going to get a folding basket that i'm going to keep here with it that you just stick underneath so if she decides to jump down she will uh she'll land in that instead of jumping down and running around the house which is not a good idea since the pigs are already running around. Okay. And then what I usually do is I will take this to the, you can either dump this in the toilet, so you take a rock out. And then you can either dump this in the toilet or I will usually just take it right out the front door and dump it here onto the side of the window by these plants into the plants. This way we're taking care of the garden. Do the same thing when you clean the pigs cages, the poops and stuff. We throw it all out 